Greetings viewers, Eric the Car Guy here. 2004 Honda Elements behind me, and yep, you know what we're doing here. You probably read the title of the video by now. Uh, but I'm going to trade my current device for opening the hood for a new hood cable from Honda. There's the part number. I suspect this is a common problem just because of the design of this release. Uh, many releases pull up and out like this. Uh, this one you have to pull straight out, but the way they have this set up is instead of having this in the middle, it's up at the top. And because of that, I believe it makes it very susceptible to breakage. Uh, these are on Civics also, and the process would be somewhat similar on a Civic. I think these are the only tools you'll need. You'll need something to get these little plastic clips out, uh, and then pocket screwdriver, I believe, 10 millimeter, quarter inch. I think that's all we're going to need. Here's the hood latch where the cable terminates. It snakes around through here behind this left front fender and up underneath the dash. I'm gonna start by removing this cover, uh, which this is what that little plastic clip thing is for, and also see if I can get these loose from here and get the latch disconnected and then we'll go inside. These clips uh, with this tool makes it really easy. It just sort of pinches in the side and you can pull them out. Now that all the clips are removed, I can get this little cover out of here. Before you remove the latch, make sure you mark its position. This is adjustable and you won't be able to get it back into the same position if you don't mark it beforehand and that may make it so that you can't open and close your hood properly. Now I'm just going to score around the outside of where the latch is now and some of you may not want to do that for fear of damaging the paint and causing rust but as you can see I've already got a rusty core support and there's other rust on this vehicle. I'm not concerned. This is also my vehicle. You could just as easily do this with like a marker or a sharpie whatever works for you, but do both sides. The latch has three fasteners holding it in. They're 10 millimeter. Now I'm gonna unhook the cable from the latch assembly. It's just clipped in right here. You can usually just pry up. And once it's disconnected, it's looped around like that. And then it just sits in a groove right there. Looks like there's three of these clips. I thought there were only only the two. This is how I deal with these. If you slip under each side, there'll be a little plastic tab sticking up that you can't see necessarily. All I can say is try not to break them or purchase them in addition to the hood cable. But if you do manage to get one side, there we go. And that's what I meant, if you can get one side, it'll pop it open and free it. That little plastic there that's sticking up, you can sort of see that tab. Uh, that's what I was trying to push in to pull this out. I'm gonna try a different tool here. It did work better, but it also destroyed it a little bit. Got one more. So I'll post a link in the description to this part number. That way, even if you do break them, you'll be prepared. We're inside the car now. You're gonna have to remove this plastic that covers up where the hood latch goes. It's attached to this other piece that goes along the rocker here. So you may have to pull it up a little bit, get that inner piece out. And that's all I do is I just, I'm just gonna pull it up this much. And this, you can see this hole here, there's a, uh, plastic clip at the end of that. So try to pull straight out. There's one more clip in behind here. Pull straight out. I had to fight with that a little more than I could, than I should have because uh, I didn't take the entire rocker piece out. I just pulled this up. Okay, two 10 millimeter fasteners. <laughs> cable comes in right up there. You can just barely see it. I'm going to pull it back through from this side and that's the way we're going to have to install it, uh, namely because of the hardware that's on this end, but that's where it goes up into the body right behind this little piece of insulation. I'm just going to undo it. That rubber seal that's on the cable. And once that's done, I'm just going to continue to pull it through.
Well, we've got more work to do. We just need to take this fender liner down. These are the same type of clips that we saw under the hood. And these type with the screw, you unscrew the screw, and then you can pull out the rest of the fastener. I don't unscrew the screw all the way. That should be enough to pull it down so that we can get access behind it. And maybe another set of clips up in here. Yeah, there should be one right where my finger is that uh, apparently has gone away on mine. One clip. Once we get that removed, we'll be able to pull the cable all the way through. Now I can pull it through the rest of the way. Looks like it's broken in two places. Shiny new cable. I'm going to spray this little rubber grommet with a little bit of silicone spray. Uh, and that will help the installation. Really just the opposite of what I just did. Let's start it through the opening and keep on going. Here's the cable. I'm just gonna point it up and see if I can't grab it. It goes on the inside here because it's clipped down right there. It's also clipped down here and here. It's going to feed that rubber grommet into place, push it in. That silicone really helped. Ooh, this plastic clip stayed. We're going to need to remove that and clip that to the uh, cover. I'll fasten it down again. That clip that came out will just slide back in. And when you put this back in, make sure that these are lined up with the holes before you hit it. Uh, also, these hooks here need to go up under this seal. You might want to just pull the seal back a little bit to make that easier. I'm gonna go under here first. Line up the holes, yes. Can just take the seal and just sort of walk it back in. And then, there we are. All better in here. Let's get the latch hooked back up. Come in under here and make sure it hooks into that spot. Come back under and just push it in where it connects there and it's all good to go. Now you can fasten the latch assembly down where it was according to where you marked it. I'm just going to get it snug to where I can still move it around before I do the final tightening. You can see I got it pretty well lined up with my marks before I tighten it down. We can test it before we put in those plastic clips. Oh no, it broke. Nah, I'm just kidding. Just the opposite of the way they came out. Wrap them around the cable. And then just insert that. They go in a lot easier than they came out. Insert them in. And you're done. As stated, it's probably not a bad idea to uh, replace these clips when you replace the cable. That way you don't have to worry about them getting broken. Okay, last one. Finished product. And the clips with the screws, if you have them, I think I replaced these at one point, but you don't have to screw them back in. You can just push them back in. Yay. Just for the heck of it, you might want to just take one final look or feel around the seams where the hood meets the fenders to make sure they match up. You can adjust the latch up or down accordingly, but these are pretty well in line. Let's wrap this up. Uh, if you have a Honda Element, I believe this will cover just about all the years. 
Uh, this will guide you through the hood cable replacement on that vehicle. And I hope that information was useful to you. If you have automotive questions not addressed in this video, I'd ask that you head over to ericthecarguide.com and use the resources there to get help. Uh, if you wish to connect with me socially, Google+, Plus, Facebook, Twitter, also Instagram. Close each of my videos with be safe, have fun, stay dirty. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.